If you're using AWS to host your TimeScale applications, you'll be happy to learn that TimeScale Cloud supports VPC peering. This allows you to use TimeScale Cloud in AWS without exposing your valuable or sensitive time series data to the public internet. Let me show you how. Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Mathis and I'm a developer advocate at TimeScale. In today's video, I'll walk you through the steps on how to set up VPC peering so you can connect your TimeScale Cloud services from within your own AWS VPC without needing to expose your connections to the public internet. It's important to note that when you enable VPC peering, your TimeScale Cloud service will only be reachable from within the peered VPC, meaning that any device outside that VPC will not be able to connect to your TimeScale Cloud service. To enable VPC peering, go to the TimeScale Cloud Console tab labeled VPC and click on the plus button to create a new VPC within TimeScale Cloud. Here, we want to select the region our TimeScale Cloud instance is in. We can give our VPC a descriptive name, and now we come to the most challenging part, choosing an IP range or CIDR block. In short, we want to use a CIDR that doesn't overlap with our own VPC CIDR. For example, if my AWS VPC CIDR is 10.0.0.0/24, a valid CIDR for my TimeScale Cloud VPC would be 10.1.0.0/24. For more information on CIDRs, read our blog on VPC peering linked in the description down below. After creating the VPC in TimeScale Cloud, we need to add a VPC peering connection. Click on the VPC we just created, enter your AWS account ID and VPC ID. And lastly, select the region your AWS VPC is in. Once that's done, we need to go to AWS and accept the VPC peering connection. Before accepting, double check to make sure that the requester CIDR and requester region correspond to your TimeScale Cloud VPC details. Then go to the Actions drop-down menu and select Accept Request. If the peering request doesn't show up or you're getting an error message in TimeScale Cloud, Make sure the CIDRs you entered are correct, double check the region, AWS account, and VPC ID, and try again. If that still doesn't work, please refer back to our documentation linked below. Next, we need to configure our route tables. Go to the route tables tab on the VPC page. Here, we want to filter all our route tables by VPC. Make sure to only select the VPC you used for our peering connection. Select the subnet, then click on routes, edit routes, and add route. In destination, we want to add the CIDR block that we used when we created the TimeScale Cloud VPC. In my case, that is 10.1.0.0/24. As target, we want to select peering connection and then click on the connection we just created. Then click on Save Changes. Do this for every subnet you want to peer with your TimeScale Cloud VPC. Lastly, we need to create a security group that allows TCP traffic to exit port 5432 to our newly peered TimeScale Cloud VPC. To do this, we'll go to the EC2 management page then click on Security Groups and Create a Security Group. Give it a name and description, and select the right VPC. Then we need to add an outbound rule. Click on Add Rule, either select Custom TCP and enter 5432 in the port range, or select PostgreSQL as the type. In destination, we need to provide our TimeScale Cloud CIDR again. In our case, that's 10.1.0.0/24. And now we can attach our TimeScale Cloud service to our VPC. To do that, go back to the TimeScale Cloud service and click on your desired service. Click on Operations and then VPC and select the VPC you want to attach. Then press Attach VPC and you're done. As a demonstration, I'll try to connect to my TimeScale Cloud Console for my home network. As expected, this eventually times out because I can't connect to the private IP of our TimeScale Cloud service. If I connect from an EC2 instance running in my VPC, I can connect without any issues. And that's how simple it is to enable VPC peering on TimeScale Cloud. If you have more questions, feel free to let us know in the comments down below or join our community Slack. My name is Mathis, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.